Good evening, it's the Crafty Nana here. Um, I've been meaning to get some wood, mixed media, pen and ink, watercolour, acrylic, whatever, whatever comes to hand, uh, work done on the little pieces of marbling that I did before. Um, I made some little pieces of marbled paper and now I want to make them into little pieces of artwork. Now, um, anybody that knows me would know that I definitely have a thing about bugs. And uh, so this first one, um, I think it's going to be a shikada. So this one has got a very strong patch of spottiness here and then the softer top and bottom. Um, and my bug is going to go right across here. Um, so I've just taken a pencil and drawn in the areas that I want to uh, put it into. So I've put the wings here, the body here, the thorax, the head, his lovely buggy eyes. In the picture he's got some beautiful turquoise areas which I'm hoping to get in there. This is sort of definitely one of those make it up as you go along kind of thing. So I'm not, I hadn't really thought about what I was going to do it with. But because this particular part of the paper is so strongly patterned, I think I'm going to need to put a little layer of white. I Obviously, its thoracic segments all go across and not down, so I think it's quite important when you're doing your brush work to make sure that your brush goes in the direction of the actual plates of the bug. Now, on his back, he comes, he has a center plate, it's quite smooth, and then he has all sorts of lumpy, bumpy bits coming in from the sides. So our centre plate. I want to keep those some of those spots showing through. I just don't want quite such a bold pattern on him. Let that dry off a little bit. I'm going to do the same with his wings. Just take out some of the darkness. Again, keep your brush going in the direction that you want the wings to be Always trying to keep my lines going in the way that the wings would be flowing. It's amazing how your eye picks up on these things, um, so it really is pretty important. Okay, so I think that's fine. Let's do another quick session across here, going again in the direction of those segments. And then his head. Right, so. It's almost like these are little insect frogs. They have that, definitely have a, like a froggy head. They're so cool. We do get them here, but they're always so well camouflaged and so well hidden that it really is quite hard to actually find them. Now, I want to make a slightly sort of creamy, goldy, metallic colour to go for the next layer on that thorax. So I'm going to put a little bit of the gold in with the white. This is quite a yellowy colour but that's what we've got on our picture of our real bug so I think it works and again we can still see the spots through which is great which is just what we wanted. Just what I wanted. Hello! The cat is back. It's almost like it knows that I've just put some water and some paintbrushes on my desk. And she's turned up just in time to feel that she needs to smash them all onto the floor. I don't think there's much of the yellow on the body, but I'm just going to put a tiny bit down this side just to give it a little touch. Then I'm going to add some of that, try and make up like a duck egg blue. Hello, gorgeous. So with the gold and the white, 
I'm thinking that's a little bit too blue. I think we need a little tiny bit of green in there. Just a touch. Honestly, I swear that mixing colours is literally half the pleasure of art. I don't want this too thick and I don't want it to covering I just want it as a background colour so I'm literally sort of taking off as much as I'm putting on now I tend to always use mixed media nowadays I don't really go with the you can't mix this and that and the other I always just use exactly what works to get the job done sometimes it's eyeshadow sometimes it's metallic pens it's whatever I need to do and to get the colours and the, and the finish I want. And it might be that later on I actually add some metallic pen over the top of that turquoise to really pop it out. So we have one definite base of the head going up here. We've got the whole set coming around like that so we're gonna just see it starting to take shape now. I'm using a deep dark blue pen just to put in the segments on its body. 